friends welcome to online repertory training course myself dr fatima lokhanwala i am practicing in banvel nave mumbai firstly i would like to thank our mentor dr ganesham kalatia sir for providing us such a nice platform of learning friends now moving forward towards our video i would like to start with the basics and then move ahead to our main topic plant kingdom friends about regarding the basics firstly i would talk about kingdom differentiation friends we know our remedies are made either of plants animals and minerals and they represent the spirit of the soaps which they come from and must have the character of the soaps it is something in nature expressing itself in inside us that is plant animal or mineral speaking through us so the patient needing the uh, plant remedies have fundamental issues of sensitivity and with the remedies of animal kingdom it is the survival and with the remedies of mineral kingdom the themes are of structure relationship and performance are seen in any approach in any given case the approach would be firstly we would uh, we talk uh, we would find out the kingdom to which the patient belongs and then move ahead we would find out the sub kingdom and then to the source to which the patient belongs also we need to see the pace depth and degree of desperation perceived by the patients which is called which we call it miasm together that help us to reach the similar power friends as we all know mineral kingdom has to do with the issues of structure that is issues arising from lacking or formation or maintaining or losing breaking of structure or organization and it is understood in terms of existence identity position relationship security performance and responsibility issues the issues are about whether it is lacking whether it is incomplete or incomplete whether, sorry whether it is incomplete or complete now about the mineral king about the animal kingdom animal kingdom has issues of survival in patient we hear we hear the themes of competition high and low aggressor and victim strong and weak predator and prey one versus other domination split exist within the self that is like i hate myself i versus me so this is all about the basic introduction of animal kingdom and mineral kingdom now moving towards our main topic plant kingdom as we all know the plant kingdom has the basic issue of sensitivity and reactivity now before giving brief details about plant kingdom i would end the introduction with an example see uh, the situation is the same but the important is how the patient perceives the situation likewise the patient needing a mineral remedy would start saying his complaint as oh, my complaint started on this date on this time and this is how it started so all the talk would be too much structured i am lacking in this i'm deficient uh, and he would talk about in this way the patient needing animal remedy would start complaining with the words saying doctor the this problem is after me it is harassing me i am want to go i want to get rid of it for long but i am not able to get rid of it please do something to help me get rid of it for once and all so it is like one versus the other it is i versus the disease now patient with the plant kingdom would be too sensitive saying this complaint hurts me it affects me and would start weeping so this would be this would be the manner of talk of the patient belonging to different kingdoms now starting with the basics of plant kingdom we would firstly talk about its general characteristics the basic quality of plant is sensitivity we know the plants grow but they can't move from place to place and so they are sensitive 
to environment to adapt the changes. Same way, plant remedies are also quite sensitive. They are trying to adapt to changing circumstances. They are soft, sensitive, attempt, attempting to adjust the people and environment around them. They are passive, emotional, easily hurt, changeable. And they lack the structure as of like the mineral kingdom. Even there is no any issue of I versus me, competition, aggressor like animal kingdom. Now as we know that plant spread out in available space, absorbing the nutrients necessary for life. So same way the plant personalities are also diffused by nature, wandering in thought and speech. They are guided by emotions, looking for nurture. They are very creative. They are artistic. They surround themselves with beauty. They are flowing, reactive, fragile, random in thought and speech. The, uh, the, uh, they are writing. The writing is irregular, disorganized, with rounded letters. Whereas the one with the mineral kingdom, it is too much structured writing. And during the case taking also, the patient wanders from subject to subject. They seem disorganized. The talk is too much incomplete. It is a wandering talk. Their dress, their dress is often flowery pattern. Random, irregular, without geometry or structure as of like any mineral kingdom. And as uh, unlike animal kingdom, they are not too they are not wearing too much attractive and bright colors. The they are the color is soft, flowing, colorful, aesthetic clothing. Now, how they express themselves? They express themselves saying, "This affects me. It hurts me. I am sensitive to. I can't stand it. I am touched by." They seem soft, emotional and easily hurt. They dream of scenes of plants in, in, in nature. Mu they dream of music, of art. Their dreams are vivid, beautiful and have a lot of emotional content. And the whole day changes and adaptations come in their dreams. So, the, uh, as I said before, their complaints are very haywire, rounded, wandering, descriptive, and they are very sensitive. So, this is all about the basic introduction of how the plant kingdom patient would appear to us. Now, moving toward the sub kingdom, that is the families of the plant kingdom. How many families are there of the plant kingdom? There are lots of families of plant kingdom. That is. It is divided into the fa following families Anacardiaceae, Berberidaceae, Cactaceae, Conifers, Compositae, Cruciferae, Carnivorous Plants, Dioscoriaceae, Euphorbiaceae, Fungi, Hemamalidae, Labiatae, Leguminosae, Liliflorae, Loganaceae, Magnoliaceae, Malvales, Peperveraceae, Piperaceae, Premulaceae, Ranunculaceae, Rosaceae, Rutaceae, Rubiaceae, Sclophoraceae, Solanaceae, Umbelliferae and Varlaceae. So when we take the case taking, we would find out, firstly we would decide whether the patient belongs to the plant kingdom or not. And then moving ahead, we would select the family that the patient belongs to which family. We would see also the miasm that is the desperation of the patient, pace and depth of the patient and selecting and from that combining the family and the miasm we would select a particular remedy for the patient that would be the similima of the patient friends a word of caution before moving further i would like to te uh, tell you about this word of caution that sankaran sir tells us that sankaran says sankaran sir says i have noticed that many beginners and even some experienced practitioners tend to read only the tables and not the text. I must strictly warn that this is very risky. Understanding of an experience cannot come by merely reading some discrete words. 
the words are very useful but cannot by themselves convey the whole experience its context and how it ma- can manifest in people this can only happen when you read the actual text derivation the quotations from materia medica and cases it is then you know clearly what the experience is and you are able to identify it in your patients and also differentiate it from similar sensations without this groundwork merely looking at the tables and prescribing is often a recipe of failure so this it is for this reason we would we, we need it is must for us to go through the volumes 1 2 and 3 of plant kingdom reading them properly absorbing what the uh, what the family what experience is what, uh, and then after understanding and experience getting the experience of the whole family and we need then and then only we would see the tables and apply it in our uh, use uh, in our clinic so without understanding them it is not at all advisable to just merely look at the tables comparing and giving the remedies it would often lead us to failures now friends we would select the main topic fungi today i would select this main topic fungi 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 were previously considered plants but now it is treated as a separate kingdom what is the reason that it is treated as separate kingdom because as like plants they lack chlorophyll that prepares food that is via photosynthesis also they lack vascular tissues that is phloem and xylem that is present in plants also uh, they uh, they do not uh, uh, produce by seeds uh, the fungi produced by spores also the cell wall of fungi is not made of cellulose but it is made of chitin so for this reason fungi is kept now separate as a different kingdom and not included in a plant kingdom so now what are the fungi fungi are uh, the yeast rust smuts mildews molds and mushrooms even they are used in production of different fermenting products like bread yogurt beer and wine also produce chemical fuels and pharmaceutical compo- compounds now one is the lichen lichen is a complex life form that is a symbiotic partnership of two separate organisms that is fungi and algae fungi and algae together form lichen but as the dominant partner is fungus which gives the lichen the majority of the characteristics from its thallus shape to its fruiting bodies so we include fungus a lichens also in this fungi so this is all about the basics of fungi now the classification of fungi fungi are classified into four or five phyla or divisions the first one is zygomycota zygomycota common example of zygomycet is black bread mold that is rhizopus stolonifer the homeopathy prepa- medicine prepared from mold is dimatium petriacea that is p conferva aurea the second is basidomycota which is also called the club fungi now why it is called the club fungi fungi because it the spores which are produced by the that fungi is in clubbed shape and that is called basidium so it is also called as club fungi and due to the basidium it is called basidiomycota it is a sister group of ascomycota now basidiomycota they were traditionally divided into two homo basidomycetes that is the two true mushrooms and hetero basidomycetes that is the rust and the spots but now the basidomycota is thought to comprise of three major classes that is basidomycota is further divided into three major classes hymenomycotina that is hymenocytes that is the mushrooms ustilaginomycotina that is ustilo ustilomeginomycetes that is true smart fungi and teleomycotina that is rust uredinomycetes 
now what are the medicines prepared from this family from this uh, division they are agaricus muscarius bolius larisis polyporus pinicola lycopodon bovista silocaip mexicana mexicana ustilago maidis now moving forward towards our third is ascomycota that is sac fungi why it is called sac fungi because they produce sac like this distinct type of microscopic microscopic sporangia now ascomycota it includes yeast majority of lichens the powdery mildews black black and blue green molds club moss edible type of morel and truffle and species that cause plant diseases such as dutch elm disease chestnut blight apple scab and ergot now sol uh, this uh, sorda sordaria fimicola neurospora crassa and several species of yeast they are used in many genetics and cell biological exper- experiments so 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 this is friend about the basic introduction and basic information which is very needful for us to know at least we should know about it so we get a wholesome idea about the fungi and then we can just apply it in our practice most commonly used yeast is saccharomyces cerevisiae which is dom- which is domesticated for be- wine beer and bread production it is used in since thousands of years ago now widely used homeopathic drug of this phyla or division is sickle cornutum that is we all know is ergot of rye that is claviceps purpurea certain yeast of this phyla is also used as homeopathic remedies they are candida albicans that is monilia albicans which is also called thrush fungus candida parapsilosis torula cerevisiae the lichens you of this phyla used as homeopathic remedies are citraria islandica that is iceland moss cladonia pixidata that is cup moss or cup lichen sticta pulmonaria that is lungwort usnea barbata that is tree moss so these are the remedies belonging to this phyla or division the fourth one fourth one is deuteromycota they are called imperfect fungi it also includes fungi belonging to genus penicillin that is the medicine where the commonest antibiotic penicillin is made from this genus from this particular phyla and which is also used to make rockwort and cumber camembert cheeses that causes diseases of plant animals and humans like the human diseases is athlete's foot and ringworm disease and as i said before it is also used to produce antibiotic penicillin so the homeopathic remedies the homeopathic remedies belonging to this phyla is firstly penicillinum and solanum tuberosum agrotans that is peronospora infestans of the potato the last phyla of this fungi is cryptidiomycota the chytrids are the primitive form of fungi they are also they can also infect plant species they attack maize and destroy them and alpha alpha attacking species are also in this phyla friends the fungi is also used as a fu- food source the popular food from fungi are shiitake mushrooms white mushrooms agaricus that is white buttons puff balls that is bovista which is also a homeopathic remedy honey mushrooms morels truffles mexican smart corn smart yeast saccharomyces and fungus ashibai goysipi are most important fungal vitamin and mineral sources penicillin that is the most commonest antibiotics used by medicine modern medicine is also prepared from this fungi penicillin now the homeopathic remedies which have been prepared so far from this fungi kingdom they are as follows agaricus bisporus agaricus campanulus agaricus campestris agaricus citrinellus agaricus emeticus agaricus muscarius agaricus pantherinus agaricus phalloides 
Agaricus procerus, Agaricus semiglobatus, Agaricus stercorius, Agaricinum, Armillaria melia, Boletus edulis, Boletus larisis, Boletus luridus, Boletus satanus, Bovista, Candida albicans, Cordyceps cetraria islandica, Cladonia, Dementia, Dimatium, Argotinum, Fungus japonicus, Lentinula edods, Lepista nuda, Muscarinum, Penicillinum, Penicillinum glaucum, Phallus impudicus, poly, Polyporus nigricans, Polyporus pinicola, Psilocybe mexicana, Russula fetans, Cicel cornutum, Solanum tuberous agrotans, Torula cerevesia, Usnea barbata, Usnea medis. So there are lots and lots of remedies prepared from this but the most commonly used homeopathic remedies from this kingdom fungi is Agaricus muscarius, Boletus larisis, Bovista, Silosi, Cicel cornutum, Solanum tuberosum agrotans, Ustilago minus. So now further how to study this fungi according to the homeopathy. Firstly we put the remedy fungi remedies in the repertorial search and found out the rubrics belonging to this fungi remedies and we found out the following rubrics stomach twisting breakfast after abdomen pain stitching sticking eye pain burning smarting biting cuff with head pain stitching head empty hollow sensation chest eruptions abdomen pain cutting for part of arm extremity pain stitching knee rising from a seat head pain burrowing so this is all the see from this we we see that what we get that is twisting burning hollow sensation cutting stitching burrowing that is all we see the commonalities from this rubric. Further moving, in Solanaceae and in, in Solanaceae tuberosum agrotans, we found it out invaded, biting hands, biting himself. In sickle core, we found out biting sensation, bug like, pain cutting internal, flesh gnawing, face eruption. In agaricus, we found out mouth pain as if excoriated, skin excoriation nose discharge excoriating in caldera albicans mucous membrane excoriation in stomach pain gnawing in bovista we found out inguinal and pubic region excoriative pain abdomen pain excoriating eroding ulcerative leucorrhea acrid excoriating menses acrid excoriating mucus secretion corrosive sickle core is Fetal sweet excoriating, abdomen pain excoriating, ulcerative. Ustilago is leucorrhea acrid excoriating. Psilocybe is stool acrid corrosive excoriating. So what we see friends, the commonalities invading, biting, cutting, gnawing, boring, excoriation, uh, gnawing, uh, eroding, ulcerative. All these are common sensations we see in all the remedies. So, so we can see the fungi sensations are all this, this boring, eroding, excoriating. They are all the part of fungi sensations which, can, which we see in the, this remedies. So, as I said further, this erode said before this, we see common words erode, corrode, excoriate with the sensation of burning, smarting, cutting, stitching. So this is a natural behavior of fungi, it's eroding, corrosion and destroying. So the fungi has main basic nature of eating and surviving. How it eats? That is by eroding, excoriating, that to get its nutrition. And second is spreading for its growth and reproduction. So first we saw about this eating pattern that is its nutrition pattern about this eroding excoriating all this corrosive now we will see its spreading feature so what we found in the remedies it is herpes spreading 
back sensation as if cold air was spreading over body from spine in agaricus we found violent pain in epigastria which spread rapidly over the whole abdomen in bovista chill back beginning and spreading in sickle cord twitching face spreads over body increasing to dancing and jumping in genitals ulcers discolored and discolored and rapidly spreading in solen solenum tuberosum heat at the vertex spreading all over so this is all about the spreading feature so we the we see both the characteristics the nutrition characteristic and the spreading characteristics in fungi the more important other more important rubrics we which we found out at burrowing sensation digging up burrowing hollow aching routing boring grinding grating burrowing routing digging screwing penetrating fear of robbers fear of being robbed and attacked in the own house and incapable of defending that is a part of dreams of psilocy dreams of fighting with robbers and also solenum tuberosum also we see themes the, uh, delusion thieves robbers see in house in candida is fear of robbers fear at surrounded by enemies it agaricus is running dangerous places strength increase talks of war battle dream in bovista sensation pressing inward with a deep instrument sensation of strength courageous dreams of being in a cellar and walls are falling in dreams of fear of epidemic in psilocybis sensation of strength delusion he is possessed god and evil god and devil alternating between which also see we the theme of possession is what it is a form of invasion that is you are invaded by other devil or of a godly form which is also a fungi characteristic the dreams of fighting with robbers dream is under superhuman control so from all these rubrics what we can conclude we conclude that the vital sensation of fungi are burrowing invading digging boring excoriating corroding eroding gnawing penetrating and spreading as i said before the themes of robbers danger and superhuman control are also part of invasion and the courage and increase in strength that is the active reaction to invasion when you are invaded what you do you try to fight for that you need courage and you need increase in strength so that is the active reaction which we see in fungi patients so from all this we conclude that the sensations and reactions of the fungi kingdom the sensation is invading eroding burrowing digging boring excoriating gnawing corrosive ulcerative penetrating spread expanding danger robbers strength superhuman these are all the basic sensation which the patient will speak about and the passive reaction to this sensation would be feeling empty feeling hollow and for this the active reaction would be invades spreads fight egotism courageous strength increased and the how would the patient compensate this feeling as i said before courageous in the face of danger and invasion so this is the basic idea of the fungi now the miasms now i will explain about this miasm and sensation of remedies firstly about the acute miasm the medicine belonging to acute miasm is muscarinum because it is a common thing that muscarinum is an alkaloid an alkaloid generally fall in the acute miasm so the proposed feeling in muscarinum is panic which is the acute miasm that is panic in the face of invasion burrowing and penetration now malarial miasm the medicine from malarial miasm is boletus laricis it has many malarial and intermittent symptoms like intermittent diarrhea dysentery obstinate intermittent fevers intermittent neuralgia left side of head and temple so from this the vital sensation 
would be intermittent attacks of invasion and borrowing. The malarial miasm would give intermittent thing, intermittent symptoms, intermittent attacks in the face of the main sensation of invasion and borrowing. Other remedy also belongs to malarial miasm is polyporous pinicola. The symptoms are inner head pain periodical daily at the same hour. That also see uh, that also shows us the periodicity, intermittent thing, fever, malaria, chronic, malaria ague elements from neuralgia, periodic intermittent. So all these are malarial miasm symptoms. So the proposed feeling again would be the same, intermittent attacks of invasion and borrowing. Now how to select this polyporous or boletus? From the patient sensation and complaints, we can compare and select any of the remedy, either, the, either polyporous or boletus. Now we go to psychotic miasm. The medicine belonging to psychotic miasm is bovista, lycoperdon bovista which is a very common remedy. It has the following symptoms, gonorrhea, gleed, which is all, gonorrhea is a typical psychotic disease, indifference, apathy to the, everything, warts, which is also again psychotic, warts superating general, bloatedness, puffy condition of body surface, fear, contagion, dreams, tedious. So combined, combining this miasma with the sensation, we get the feeling is avoiding invasion, excoriating and burrowing. The patient would say, I am trying to avoid the invasion. I am feeling I am getting invaded, excoriation, burrowing. So I am trying to avoid it. So this would be the basic feeling of the patient of avoiding invasion, excoriation and burrowing. Now the cancer miasm. The medicine from cancer miasm is agaricus muscarius. We have following rubrics from complete repertory. Activity general, hyperactive, ailments from work, mental, delusion, enlarged distances are, enlarged distance objects are, enlarged person runs, imagines runs never before, dreams of under superhuman control, delusion of water, lake, a spoonful of water is like a lake, Fear of cancer, small hole is a frightful chasm. As I said, muscarigas have the delusions that a spoonful of water is like a lake, small home is like a frightful chasm. So these are the delusions of the agaricus patients, cancer affections. So the basic feeling along with the miasm would be despair, rage on bordering. That is the patient loses control when patient enters his borders. That is the pa when uh, he is feeling invasion. Uh, the patient would be in too much despair. It loses the patient loses control in such case. So this was the basic feeling of the agaricus cancer miasm patient. Now the tubercular miasm, stilago medis. The symptoms belonging to this is. Delusion, imagines, imaginations, caught in wires. See, in this caught in wires also it is found in semisifuga and cactus. But in cactus it is the part of sensation. But uh, whereas in semisifuga and ostilago it is not the sensation but it is the experience of miasm. So this is the difference we need, which we need to understand about it. Semisifuga, uh, the cactus belong to cactaceae family where the basic sensation is like of cotton wires. So it is the basic sensation whereas in semisifuga and ustilago they are the experience of miasma. So understand this basic difference ok. Now other rubrics are restlessness, nervousness, general, menses suppressed, chest operation, vicarious menstruation, bleeding, passive hemorrhages. So combining or seeing all this, we conclude that the combining vital sensation with the pace and depth of the miasm, the proposed feeling would be too much operation. Tubercular miasm is operation. So too much operation from invasion, borrowing, penetrating sensation. So this is reflected in the rubrics as we saw before.
ओके सो उसी लगो माइडस ट्यूबर को रेमाइजम वुड बी ऑपरेशन फ्रॉम इन्वेजन बरोइंग एंड पेनिट्रेटिंग सेंसेशन नाउ ट्यूबर कुलर सोलेनम ट्यूबर ट्यूबरोसम एग्रोस्टेंस व्हिच इज व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू लेप्रोसी माइजम द रूब्रिक्स वी सी हियर इज ड्रीम्स ऑफ पूल्स ऑफ ब्लड ड्रीम्स सिटीज डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय फायर ड्रीम्स ईटिंग ह्यूमन फ्लैश ड्रीम्स बॉडी पार्ट्स हैंड्स कट टू पीसेस परसिक्यूशन म्यूटिलेटेड विकेड बाइटिंग हिमसेल्फ ब्रेक थिंग्स डिजायर टू सींग ऑल दिस द लेप्रोसी माइजम एंड द सेंसेशन द प्रोपोज फीलिंग वुड बी इन्वेडेड एंड पेनिट्रेटेड टू द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कस्ट एंड आइसोलेशन द लेप्रोसी माइजम वुड गिव द डिस्कस्ट डिस्कस्ट फीलिंग आइसोलेशन फीलिंग फोर सेकंड फीलिंग सो वट वुड बी द कम्बाइंड कम्बाइंड वाइटल सेंसेशन विद द पेस एंड डेप्थ ऑफ माइजम वुड बी द प्रोपोज फीलिंग वुड बी इन्वेडेड एंड पेनिट्रेटेड टू द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्गस्ट एंड आइसोलेशन नाउ अदर रेमेडी बिलोंगिंग टू लेप्रोसी माइजम इज सीकल कॉड नाउ सी हियर देर आर द डिफरेंस इन रोब्रिक्स इन सोलरनम वी सी वी सॉ ऑल दिस बाइटिंग ब्रेकिंग ड्रीम्स ऑफ ब्लड ऑफ पूल्स ईटिंग ह्यूमन फ्लैश बॉडी पार्ट कट टू पीसेस वेर इज इन सीकल कॉर वॉट वी सी इरप्शन लेप्रस डिल्यूजन पॉइजन किल डिजायर टू हॉटरी मॉकिंग रिलेटिव कंटेम्पचुअस फोर सिक्स रिलेशंस रेज फ्यूरी वॉन्ट्स टू किल पीपल शेमलेस टेयर्स जेनाइटल्स टेयर्स हिमसेल्फ अनसिम्फथेटिक इन्फ्लामेशन गैंग्रीन सिकल कॉर इज कॉमनली यूज फॉर गैंग्रीन कंडीशन हेमरेज टेंडेंसी रिफ्लेक्स डिमिनिश्ड फियर ऑफ मिस फॉर्चून सो दिज आर दम ऑफ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिकल कॉर एंड सोलनम टूबरसम so now the proposed feeling along with the marasm would be the same invaded and penetrated to the point of disgust and isolation but seeing the rubrics and symptoms we can differentiate whether which remedy to select so this is all about for today and you can understand much much further about the remedy with by going through the cases from the book and you can understand it very well hope i made it much clear to you thank you very much